Welcome back to Dactar Reacts. Uh, this is your host, Dactar and Reactor, also a moderator over at Genius website for lyrics. Um, let's see. I'll put up a video. Let's see who we got today. Upchurch Independent Poliches. That's interesting. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, let's see who can name all the comedians based on the quotes. There's a quote that you can start with. So let's see what we got going with this video and see what Upchurch has to say today. Arkansas police impersonators arrest recorded by his own body camera fucking real cop, fake cop. No shit. Hello, my name is Tessa. Look at his nipples. Oh, homeboy get hard for the police. You probably did fuck the police. Fuck. <laughs> Arkansas impersonator arrest captured on his own body cam. <laughs> Real world police original stories exclusive footage. Just fucking like them. I'm a uh, independent. I love the voices he comes up with. It's just, yeah. Up church. What can we say? Let's get back to it. Investigator, sir. I'm a fucking, uh, no, this ain't a bad like you got. I'm a fucking independent uh, police officer. Don't you know this already? My name's Carl. No, I'm an independent police officer. Fucking. Police officer. This dude officers. already fucking sounds stupid. Let's see what he's got to say. What does that man say? It says I'm an arson investigator. Would you like to read it, sir? <laughs> oh. So you're, you're, you're not with any law enforcement No. Look at this cop. This cop is like, yo, I'm finna have to beat up this motherfucker and get him out of the car. Because he's got, like, all these things from Best Buy suction cup to his window in this black Tahoe to look like a, a independent police officer. Okay? You're under independent arrest, fucking. Stupid. Independent arrest. Ugh. This is gonna be interesting. I can already tell. Good motherfucker. Why are you Why are you driving around acting like you're a cop any fucking way? You weird motherfucker. What are you doing? Pulling over chicks and being like, "Well, uh, you know, if you fucking give me your number, I ain't gonna give you no ticket on this Shoney's tablet that I stole from the restaurant." No, it ain't the. Sh they don't say Shoney's. It says sheriff on it. But you're wearing a badge like you are. Well, you decided it's... yourself to the sheriff as an arson investigator. I'm sorry, sir. You better be sorry, you fucking hard nipple titty motherfucker. Arson investigator, right? Where does that radio go to? It's Adam Radio. It's A Win Radio. Where did you get A Win Radio at? I'm with Adam as well. What Adam? Arkansas Department of Emergency Management. You work for them? I'm a volunteer for them, yes, sir. Who's the supervisor over that? Do they know you're working, you're wearing that radio while you're working your private job serving civil papers? Yes, sir. They know you're using that radio? Yes, sir. They do? Yes, sir. Adam? Yes, sir. We're going to find out all that. Okay. Step out and step back here. Sure. You got your camera on. You better make sure it's recording. Okay. Let's okay. step out. You got handcuffs, too? I do. Step right back here. Okay. Who wants to see this cop cuff the idiot with their own handcuffs? I do. <laughs> Uh, back to it. You know that dude right there gets pulled over every Friday, and he's like, <laughs> "What up, fucking no, man? He's off. I'm gonna get it fixed, man. Sounds tight though, don't it? Why buy? Raise hell, praise Dale's again. Keep your hands out your pockets. You have the weapon on you beside your pocket knife? No, I'm just playing with my dick, cause I like police officers. You have any firearms in the truck? No, sir. <laughs> You have a canine in there? No, sir. I ain't got a canine in here. I got a fucking Cocker Spaniel, though. His name's Teddy. He bites. So don't try to grab him. He's wearing a Bill Cosby sweater, too. Well, he's a police oh. officer, too. He rides with me. He's my canine, though. He sniffs out gay guys for me to arrest. Is that our frequency you're listening to? Yes, sir. Oh, look on his face. Really? He may go bond out on this. Contact Adam and see if they know who this guy is. 
March 8th. He says he's a volunteer with them. He's got an A1 radio. Where did you get the A1 radio? From Adam. You were telling me that they know that you're doing this? Yes. You're out serving civil papers, using our radio, running lights and sirens. Hold the fuck up. Why are you <laughs> fucking using lights and sirens to serve civil papers, fucking? <laughs> Uh, you're not law enforcement. You understand that, right? Yes. I don't fuck have blue no, lights we don't. Either. You're right. You don't have blue lights, but you're driving crazy down the middle of the road. That's because I'm an independent police officer. I already told you all this. Should go serve civil papers. Okay. This is one of this is our guy who serves our civil papers. Would you do that? Okay. He's like, uh, fuck no. I'm not a fucking idiot. Okay. This guy who got pulled over really <laughs> he's running lights while doing his own fucking job are you kidding me come on oh so bad so bad Hi. He's like, uh, fuck no, I'm not a fucking idiot. They're writing you some tickets, and we're going to go to court, and we're, there's other things we're going to do here. Okay. You got handcuffs in there, too. Mm -hmm. What are the handcuffs for? If they don't take their civil papers, I'll use to handcuff them and kick them in the face until I give them to them. <laughs> With their hand behind their back. Because <laughs> I'm an independent police officer. Uh, they're from... What are they for? They're a theft deterrent. Theft yep. <laughs> what does theft deterrent mean? Well, it'll keep somebody from breaking into my truck. Hopefully. That's what? The law. You're on court, correct? Uh, okay. So you're saying carrying handcuffs in your truck means that they won't break into your truck, so you're. What? They're a theft deterrent. <laughs> Oh, this is so... Really? <laughs> this... I gotta hear that again. That's the thought. You don't pull it, correct? Uh, okay. So you're saying carrying handcuffs in your truck means that they won't break into your truck, so you're... If, you're if, making it look like it's a law enforcement truck, so they won't break into it? If... If you walked up to break that window and break in, and you saw that, would you break in? I'm not a criminal, but yeah, I'd steal your handcuffs and steal your guns. Okay. Is there guns in there? Nope. Anything else in there that, that I'd use yourself as a law enforcement officer? Nope. Certified what? Fire and explosion investigator. Mm -hmm. You're wearing a badge to serve papers and says that. Mm -hmm. You're trying to ID yourself and come off as a law enforcement officer. No. That's what it looks like to me. Why would you wear an arson investigator badge to serve civil papers? He's th there's like an, mmm, I was a Boy Scout once. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, Kenan, will be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney to have president in questioning. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you free of charge before any questions are asked. Do you understand your rights? Yes. You can answer questions if you so desire and make a statement without consulting an attorney. But that just makes you look like, you know, a bigger dumbass than you already look like, fucking. Understand that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Where's the canine? At home. What kind of dog is it? German Shepherd. What does it do? He's a tracking dog. He's a certified search and rescue dog. So, Adam gave you an A-Win radio. Yep. Why would you go through all these things to just only act like you're a cop? Why don't you just go to the academy and be a real cop? <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't get that. This motherfucker had to go buy a rescue dog from somebody. He had to go buy a fucking... No, he had to go make a canine sticker to put on his Dodge whatever the fuck it was. He done put lights on this motherfucker. He's wearing a fire and, re and explosion... A fire and rescue badge. Falsely claiming that he's fucking serving civil papers. And he's dressed like a jailer, fucking... Just, you, go be a, a cop in real life. Fuck. <laughs>
let's keep going and see where this ends up. Yes, sir. Who at Adam do you work for? I work for the Racies. What? Racies. Racies? Yes. Radio emergency, yeah. radio amateur um, uh, yeah. civil emergency service. <laughs> uh, I work for fucking um, yeah. uh, a place called a company. That's where I work. It's a big one, too. Let me see your radio. Hold on. We're going to do this. Let me see that part. How fucking embarrassing, though. Like, everybody in your town's driving by. And they're going to get on Facebook later when they get home. And they're going to be like, oh, yeah, that's that one guy who sits outside the bowling alley and that collected a cop or something. That's embarrassing, fucking. Want to be rent a cop? Do you have an ID from Adam? I do. Let me see it. Sure. Bro, look at the look on this cop's face, boy. You don't know me from Adam, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> he does not look very happy. <laughs> Come on, please, make a move. That's what he's thinking. Make a move. <laughs> Ask him the phone number. What's the phone number to Adam? I've got it in my phone. 68-683-6700. Yes, sir. Bunch of dead bodies back there, man. Really? Hmm. Uh, I wonder what he meant by that. <laughs> He's secretly over there playing Bejeweled. <laughs> you got felony charges and you're acting. Does Adam know that? Nope. They will. We need a code 11 as well. They will. What did you think this was okay for? Uh, I think you're trying to be the police and you can't be the police. No. That's what I think. I'm not trying to be the police. What are you trying to be then? Why are you running like this? You, no other paper server does that. My right. guy drives a marked unit. He doesn't drive like that. Okay. He's a full-time okay. certified deputy to serve papers. Yeah. And he didn't act like this. Yeah. And you've got this badge on right here. Why are you wearing an arts investigator badge to serve papers? <laughs> Well, I'm hoping it doesn't that I don't get shot. So you're impersonating an officer? No. You're trying to impersonate an officer? No. That's what you're you hoping just to said. Get shot. Hmm? You're... <laughs> this dude ain't making no fucking sense. Alright, this is boring. This guy's a fucking dumbass. All right, so that was that video. Uh, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and react to something else. Go ahead, let me pause this for a second while I get everything set up. I'm going to go ahead and watch this video as well because I haven't seen it yet. Equalizer. So let's see what Ryan's got to say here. Oh, look at Ben Shapiro comments on Madonna's insane coronavirus bathtub video one day. $244,000. Bro, Ben Shapiro is the shit. He's like the Eminem of politics, fucking. I think that what the, this quarantine has shown more than anything else, what, the, what this whole lockdown has shown more than anything else, is that celebrities desire attention. Bro, they're clout chasing coronavirus, fucking. Do you know how petty you have to be to clout chase a fucking virus, fucking? Really petty. <laughs> Releasing videos of themselves singing Imagine and why they are on Instagram talking about how life is really difficult at their palatial estates and everything. Like, listen, celebrities, we don't care. Here's the thing about celebrities that many of them don't really <clears throat> understand. We don't care that much about you when you are not reading a line. And when you're not reading a line, you're just not all that interesting. What makes you interesting is the lines you're reading, you're good at acting, right? Off, off screen, when I'm not doing politics, I got to say, my life is fairly boring. Okay, I think that most celebrities don't understand this. And so they think they have very important things to say, even when they're doing bizarre things. True as fuck. Yep. Like, you know how many celebrities I've seen come out? They're like, oh, coronavirus? Let me tell you about it. Bitch, you ain't a fucking scientist. You ain't a motherfucking doctor. Did a video yesterday 
from her bathtub. <laughs> I've seen this video. Dude, it looks like the trailer of a fucking scary movie or something. She's all like trying to talk like, This is what's gonna happen. Everyone's gonna throw in this together. We're gonna die. <laughs> about how coronavirus is the greatest equalizer in the world. She said from her bathtub that has rose petals in it, just like everybody else who's like normal, right? Like I know that, that when I give my child a bath, I have rose petals in there because like that's the way I, I, I run. Yeah, she was like, okay, we're gonna make it really milky. We're gonna make the water all milky like those, those models do when they take the milky model pictures. And then after that, we're gonna sprinkle some rose petals in it to, so people know that we're royal. And then, oh and then when I'm done being a royal milky bitch. <laughs> <sighs> Always with that laugh, really. I'm going to say some crazy stuff about coronavirus, and we're going to post it on Twitter. And, it's, and we're going to put it on Twitter. It's going to be so trendy. Everyone's going to want milky roll panels in their bathtub. Because <laughs> Madonna explaining to all of us about the equality of coronavirus from her presumably multi-million dollar estate in a bathtub filled with rose petals really? like any normal human being. <laughs> Fist bump! Ben Shapiro, you bad motherfucker, you. COVID-19, it doesn't care about how rich you are, how famous you are. Oof. How Dude, how, fa how famous you are. How oh famous God. you are. You scary ass motherfucker. How smart you are. Where you live. Titties. How old you are. <laughs> boobs. Nookie Rose boobs. What amazing stories you can tell. And what's up with the music in the background? Is it supposed to be like dark? Fucking. What is that? Maybelline? I just don't know. <laughs> I mean, look at this. What the fuck are you supposed to think? Like. Well, at least she's crawling up in a ball. Why is she sitting like that, fucking? <laughs> look, at that. Look, at, look at her neck muscle, fucking. Is that a Pikachu, fucking? That <laughs> looks like a Pikachu, fucking. <laughs> Madonna, you Thunderbolt. <laughs> oh, God. It's the great equalizer. I'm sorry, I just paused it again, but what the fuck? It's the great equalizer. We're all gonna get microchips in our, implanted in our wrist. It's the, it's a huge equalizer. <laughs> you sound like a Halo character, fucking. It's the equalizer. I know, because I'm sitting in Milky Rose Piles, and it's the equalizer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck is wrong with these celebrities? And then they pan over and there's just some random dude playing the piano in her bathroom while she's <laughs> naked in her bathtub filled with rose petals. Okay, celebrities, they need our attention. Don't give it to them. I just defeated my own rule. <laughs> Giving attention to Madonna, who is so desperate for attention. Also, yes, that's true of COVID-19. It's also just called death. Like, de <laughs> death generally tends to be a pretty great equalizer. Um, <sighs> Yeah, yeah. So I think that maybe it's time to dump our celebrity culture. Is that fair? Can we can we be done with this? That would be hope a really enjoy great equalizer. Oh my god. Oh, well, that was that. Ooh, nice sunset there. So, yeah, I think those were pretty interesting. Seems like Upchurch is bored like everybody else with the coronavirus. Hopefully he has toilet paper. That'll be nice. Oh, let's turn off this crap. Ooh. It's a nice sunset, too. I like the pictures I chose for this one. I think they're pretty interesting. Boom, boom, boom. A nice little forest with some fog. And... Ah, there's that beginning picture we started out with. Well, I had fun. Hope y'all had fun. See y'all later. Have a good one.